hey everyone welcome back to another one of my videos it's been a while and I posted a long time ago a video about the, the speed of thought or something like that one of my few my first videos on YouTube where I was trying to explain something about light that struck me as interesting and um, I I heard Neil deGrasse Tyson and one of his friends talk about it again and uh, it, a couple of times and I'm, at, I'm trying to put it in words a little bit better with a little bit of visual aids now let's let's I don't know how to start I don't even know how to start so we're gonna talk about higher dimensions we're gonna talk about light we're gonna talk about wormholes and how how I see them all tying together let's start with this let's pretend that this is the path of a photon from the Sun towards Earth these are pieces of four-dimensional space-time okay from the Sun towards the Earth so we have the photon leaving the Sun okay and we can measure it when it leaves and we see it inside this slice of space-time as a photon now the photon it's four minutes something later in a location space that is in space-time uh, between Earth and the Sun okay and here is finally when the photon reaches Earth okay so we have the the path of the photon going from the Sun between us and it reaches Earth okay and yeah it, it stops when it reaches Earth the thing is that we can only see it from one dimension of time from the present and we see it consecutively we see that it leaves from here it gets to here and then it gets to here and because when you're moving at the speed of light time stops for the photon all of this happens at once Neil deGrasse Tyson said it's bloop it's all at once and but the way he said it and gestured and everything it, it we are still thinking about it from our point of view we're still thinking about it s s in sequences it's here now here now here now but for the photon the photon is actually present in all of those space-time points at the exact same time so it's in a different dimension of time that we cannot see it ex simultaneously exists in all those points of space-time you know what else exists simultaneously in, in all those points of space-time wormholes wormholes connect two separate points of space-time instantly and you know what else this thing looks like it looks like a string that is holding space-time together like they were saying in the show that I recently saw that the they are suspecting that the universe is being held together by by these by these wormholes and to go further you know what you can do with light you can bend it okay you can bend light
and you can also do this with a wormhole you go out one way and you come out the other now you have again two separate points in space-time that are connected but we don't see it it just so happens that they are in the same time coordinate but different space coordinate and, and, and look what happens if we act on one end of it the other end moves see and this is what I see a spooky action at a distance and the way this translates to, to particles is the fact that light is also waves and particles are also waves that interact in a certain way that they become particles and when you entangle them you are actually uh, making those waves combine and become a single one like this and the spooky action of a dist or the distance takes place and the thing with this is that if this is true and you can do this you can also do this okay uh, come on okay so you have it through multiple space-time in different space and different time points and if you do something at this point it reacts at the other point it reacts in all the other points where it exists this reminds me of a movie quote I don't remember the movie but the quote was like something like if the light was there the life was all the light was always there huh? how cool is that and if we learn one day to send messages through through quantum entangling we will be able to send and not just send send and receive messages through time doing this so I'm not a physicist I'm not the brightest bulb in the shed but to me this seems logical and I know if it's correct so once again uh, if a physicist can somehow check this and see if it's an actual valid theory or if it aligns with what they are looking at right now this this will kind of bring together string extra dimensions and quantum entanglement and 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 wormholes they it 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 brings all of them together and explains all of this together and it kind of ties in into the theory that they they were talking about in the show that I saw today with the with 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 the the strings that make the fabric of the universe i have a few other theories regarding those strings and the thing that happens when you're putting a vacuum and then things start popping up the, the the stronger the vacuum is but I'm not gonna talk about this uh, right now so if we can share this and somehow get it in front of a proper physicist either Neil or his friends hey Chuck nice if you're looking at this try to try to show it to Neil okay uh, 
I did this with the visual aids because uh, sometimes I don't express myself properly and the other one that I made was a little bit towards a new agey <laughs> stuff but uh, yeah oh and another interesting thing if this is true the part of the photon okay if we can measure the physical size of a photon in in our space-time in our four-dimensional space-time and this is true then uh, the size of that photon would be the physical size of the dimension of the present okay the the part that inter that that we can detect at this intersection of our space-time that is how big the present is because all the rest of the photon we cannot see we can only see that and we already know that we only exist in the present coming from the past moving towards the future so yeah that's another interesting thing uh, please share this as much as you can let's get it to the to the right people i would really 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 love to get an answer on this from neil and his friends chuck nice neil thank you very much i'm a subscriber and uh i i i can't wait to see your shows when they're coming out i absolutely love them and uh I can't wait to see them again, to, to see the next one, to see what you're coming up with next. Everyone else, remember to like, share and subscribe to keep the internet alive and come see me on the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.